So, we're finally back again to pick up where we left off working on the T62. So, uh, off camera I went ahead and attached all of the uh, parts that go on to the back of the tank, as well as this front um, part. And I also clipped out the top part and started making the various holes that need to be made. Now, for this type of hole, the there are a couple ways of doing it. One would be to take a nail and just make a little hole that way. What I prefer to do is take your X-Acto blade and just twirl it around until you get a fairly decent hole. For this kind of hole, you don't have to be super precise. You just need to basically make a fairly simple hole since for the most part it's going to get blocked by parts we're going to add. Now, uh, in general I would recommend uh, starting with the hole to just barely poke through the surface as it's better to have the hole be too small and you just go back in later and widen it than have it too big and then have to go through the pain of puttying, sanding, and fixing. So, now I'm just going to put that there. Now, the next step in the construction process is where we're going to have to start making a couple of decisions on how we want to do, do our tank. Now, the first of which is the one of the hatches. Now, in general, uh, this is one of the ways you really need to customize and figure out what you're going to do. Now, for this build, I'm going to have the hatch closed, but obviously you can pose it open. Now, uh, I believe on some kits you that will probably come with poly caps, you can will give you the option of having it open or closed and at will. So, yeah, that's one thing you need to keep in mind when you're working on this kind of model is how do you want to display it at the end. Now, one thing I'm actually going to hold off doing, because I think it will save us some trouble later on, is on these two parts that go on the underside. These are both clear parts, and I'm thinking it will probably save us a lot of time and effort if we just leave them off for now, and then later come in and add them in from the center of the uh, turret hole. If I actually get this on correctly, I'm going ahead and just try and doing it that way. So yeah, I think it'll be a little bit of work. Either, yeah, I think that's doable. And this is where it comes in handy have a multitude of tweezers, both a bent and a straight, as it allows you to have a little play and be able to get into angles that might otherwise be a little hard to do. So, yeah, so we can, for now, just ignore that and move on. So, yeah, and again, you can see here in the instructions, these small little parts are going to go into the holes that we drilled before. And again, why I kept them small as the parts and attachment points themselves are not that big themselves. Let's go ahead and find the uh, correct sprue. Uh, actually, I'll just go ahead and pull off the hatch. So, again, just going to real quickly trim the part out. There we go. It's always nice when parts come off nice and easily like that. And just going to give a quick one over with the sandpaper. Again, I want to apologize for not updating this series in a while. I, I've just I've been really busy with school. It's 
really taking its toll. Not only that, I, I've honestly just been putting this off for a while as I've been working on other projects and trying to get those done. Yeah, there we go. Nice little test fit. I'm not exactly sure which way the hatch turns or opens on the real thing. I'm going to assume possibly that way. But yeah, again, if you potentially really want it to um, give it a more posability, you can probably go and take a bit of wire and attach it on replacing the little peg so that it has a, lo a longer grip and makes it a little easier to get in and out. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this in place so I can start hardening up. Now if you are going to have this open or poseable, you'll want to definitely leave this off until you're totally done with painting as you're going to need to paint both the inside part of the hatch and the outside. There we go. Now if necessary we may need to add a little more glue later. In fact, I'm going to just set the main chassis out of the way and just come in from the underside and add just a little bit more glue to make sure it stays. Now that this is actually another option is when we go to put add the clear parts in is to leave the this part off entirely as that may actually be a little bit of an easier um, route to go. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and attach the rest of these little parts off camera just to save a little ta film time. And then uh, we'll pick up again. So I've gone ahead and attached almost all of the parts that need to go onto this front section. Uh, I did, however, leave off the um, two lights that go there. Um, I'm leaving them off because it's going to be easier to uh, paint them later as they have clear parts and because of their lights um, there's a little bit of hand painting we need to do to give them the right effect which I'll discuss once we get into the painting part. But uh, for now at least we're just going to leave them off as we can always just attach them later. So now the next part is to start adding in this back area. So I'm going to Go ahead and just put this back on for, for here for now. So put it, get it out of the way. We will, however, be coming back to that in about that long to attach a couple more things. So now this is also a part where we're going to get into a little bit more advanced topics with regards to use of photo etch parts. So let me go ahead and snap off all, all the uh, little doors and such that need to go on to this part as fortunately this is going to be just a quick and easy part of this section. Okay. clean up and then we can go ahead and attach them. And again this is another area where obviously you're going to want to plan ahead and decide on what you want to do as with any type of posable type thing. You really want to have a good idea in mind ahead of time just to save you some trouble. Okay. Now just to give these a little bit of glue and they will be good to go. 
then for this type of um, part it's better to, to put the glue on the back side since we're never going to see it and because you can easily get to the attachment point okay that one's on I'll just get this other one And why it's the glue is still somewhat wet, you can give play with it a little just to get it into the exact position you need it in, as it doesn't really hurt it. So okay, so we'll just set that part aside for now. Okay, so now on to the next part. So I'm gonna first, just click out the rather larger main part and that will for most part serve as a base for the next sort of part. So now photo etch parts are um, advantageous as because they are so much smaller and thinner than um, regular plastic parts, they do a better job of representing uh, various components, in this case uh, these grill faces. So um, one thing you want to be careful of when working with these kind of parts is um, them flying away on you. Now one way to solve this would be to uh, take it out of this pouch and uh, apply some masking tape to the back of it so as to keep the part from flying off when you trim it out. Now another easier way is to simply leaving leave it in the bag. And let me have to get this wire out to make this job a little easier. So I can get flush. And again, just leaving it in the bag, proceed to trim out the part. Now, the attachment points on photo etch parts are fairly small, so you don't need to apply too much pressure from your uh, hobby knife to get them out. Okay. Okay, did not realize it was in yet another <laughs> bit of plastic. That makes it a little easier to... Okay, so close this back up. And there we go. We've got our little footage part now free. Now one thing you will want to do is uh, clean up the little bits of burr and you do that just with uh, sandpaper and you also want to be careful that you do not uh, bend the part as that could cause you problems so I've just about got this cleaned up and I think we have Probably just enough time. So, alright, let's go quickly. Test fit. Okay. Now, for this, you're going to want to use uh, super glue. Uh, I prefer Zapagap, as it's what I can get. And just going to run a little around the edge very quickly. And then just take our photo etch part and attach it. Now you want to be careful that it does not stick to you as it is right now. And there we go. So out of time. So on this video, 
um, yeah, just about time. So I'll uh, pick up again and next time.